Roadie foodie familia, we are back, baby. We are in Massachusetts. We're at a place called Pokimoto, Hawaiian Pokey. I was feeling a little nostalgic today. A little nostalgia. So they have Poke Bowls, obviously. But, look at this thing. You guys are like, what the hell is that? You probably already know from uh, the thumbnail. But look at this. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, my God. On top of that, fam, I got some miso. They're like, hey, would you like some miso? Look at that. That smells so good. Mmm. Extra spicy mayo. And look at this. I never saw this when I was in Hawaii. They might not even sell that in Hawaii. But that's... I was like, let me get something like that. All right, fam. Let's get into this food. All right. Let's do it. Miso should really be, hold on, let's just put this here. Miso is typically the, and I don't even know if we're even doing it right, but typically it's like an appetizer, right? Oh, man. It's mostly, is there different types of miso? I'm, I'm used to having the miso that has the, uh, um, the tofu in it. Mmm. See, guys, I love salty stuff, though. This is perfect. Ah, perfectly salty. Mm. All right, one more sip. Ah. Hopefully you guys liked um, Mukbang Collab yesterday with Songbirds eating show. All right, fam. Let's do this. This is where the... Let's clean the palate, too. Is this the kind they have to shake? Probably. I got mango and orange, two of my favorite fruits. Down the hatch. Oh, very good. All right, family, let's get into this. Look at that. Oh, man. How do I even break this open? I don't want to lose too much. I don't want to lose too much toppings. Do I have what it takes? Uh, I don't know if I have what it takes. Under pressure. Under pressure. All right, it's like wrapped in seaweed. We're just gonna, we're gonna unwrap this bad boy. Oh, it's so big. Oh my God. It's like stuck to the paper. There we go. Look at that fam. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the bottom. It's so beautiful. Like, comment, subscribe. Down the hatch. So here's the cool thing about this place. You can get all of these, all of these either as a poke bowl, uh, brown or white rice, he was asking me, a poke burrito, which is what I'm eating, or you can get it as a poke salad, which I thought was kind of cool for those folks that are trying to watch their, I guess watch their carbies, right? All right, here's the seaweed wrap. Mmm. So this is the one we got. We got the Hawaiian wild caught. Oh my God. Let me chew a little bit more. Wild caught ahi tuna, sweet onions, cilantro, toss, and spicy mayo. I got extra spicy mayo. On top of them. Oh, one thing that he did tell me that they did run out of uh, uh, masa uh, masa oh my God. Masago. There we go. Uh, green onions, which is the crunch, uh, shredded nori, and crispy onions. I'm getting a lot of crunch in this. I'm loving every minute of it. Oh, man. Guys, I kind of want to go to Hawaii. I kind of want to go back to Hawaii. I'm trying to see if I can work it out because Margarita is getting married in October.
I'm assuming the bottom is all rice because all the stuff would just fall out. But, guys, I want to go to Hawaii again. Like, Lou, so does everybody else. I know. I don't want to crash Margarita's wedding, but I will if I have to. Mm. This is such a great idea. It's basically one big sushi roll. Mmm. And the cool thing too, here, and I'm sure they do this at all the pokey places, by the way. Oh my God. My man needs to get a job at uh, Chipotle. He knows how to wrap this up, jeez. Good for him. Oh my God. All right. They really need to scout him over at a Chipotle because he wrapped this up beautifully. Hold on one second, man. Mmm. So good. The cool thing too with this Pokemon, by the way, it's like a local small chain. They're There's like six locations, I think, in Massachusetts. They have one random one in like outside of Atlanta, Georgia. But the cool thing is like, I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Chipotle too, where you can kind of build your own. The one thing that I wanted to get for this video, but when, the way that he was explaining it to me, I was like, dude, there's no way I'm going to be able to eat that in the car. is that they had a Dole Whip, but like there was no cover for it. And there's just no way, guys, I wish. <laughs> if the place was bigger, I was probably going to ask them if I can film in there, but there's just no way for to do that. But Dole Whip is amazing. I just love pineapple. Oh, super salty, I love it. God, there we go. So yeah, fam. And the cool thing, here's the cutie part about um, Margarita's uh, wedding, is that October is the, this is the cutie part. You guys are gonna love this. October is the anniversary month for her parents. Guess what? Jared's parents, also anniversaries in October. I was like, you guys, so you have you have three different couples that are all gonna celebrate together every October. You guys are too cute. Mmm. I grew up on rice and beans, guys. I love rice. I've been debating about getting a, I don't know if anybody has one of these, guys, anybody, any of you guys have, um, for somebody who loves rice, I suck at making it. Anybody have a rice maker? And if you do, what brand are you using? And do they make small ones that um, someone can possibly keep in a future van? Keep that in mind. Mm. Also, shout out to all the new subbies that we got from, uh, from Songbird, guys. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the van. We're growing. I think we're going to hit like... I think we'll hit like 6,000 by next week, guys. We have to think of a live, too. Have I already asked that already? Where are we gonna do a live? Mm. 
I almost got the sweet and spicy shrimp. It's kind of like the Spanish version, I think. Shrimp, corn, cilantro, jalapenos, sweet onions tossed in garlic. <clears throat> garlic oil topped with wonton crisp. That sounds bomb. Also, I don't know if we've ever done like a full on poke bowl on this channel yet. I almost got one. <clears throat> but. I saw the word burrito. And you guys know who I am. Oh, so I'm parked in a very busy parking lot. I never park this exposed. You guys know me, fam. I always try to find like a secluded corner. But as I do this channel more, <clears throat> I'm starting not to care. Like those little YouTube shorts that we do where I kind of like show you the inside of the uh, of the of the restaurant stuff. I used to be kind of like weirded out by doing that. Like I didn't want <clears throat> not that I care what people thought. I just didn't want people thinking that I was trying to film them. <laughs> They're like, sir, excuse me. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh, there is a piece of tofu. I got blessed with two pieces at the bottom. Ah, oh, salty city. So, like, I'm starting to get more and more comfortable doing that. And I think doing vlogs, too, kind of... It kind of uh, brings down that uh, that shyness. And I know some of you guys are being like, Loop, you're not that shy. And you're right, I'm not. But I think everybody has their moments, right? Like, um, you know, I don't like... Sometimes, I don't know, I guess it all depends on a social battery, right? Like how how much is your social battery really charged for a certain moment? Because there's certain times when I agree to uh, um, to plans with people. Like at the time, I'm gung-ho. Like I wish the plans were then and like, like the way I'm feeling at that moment when I say, Yeah, let's go, son! And then, it's, you know, when you're sitting on the couch at home going, oh, man, I got a shower. <laughs> We've all been there. Don't, don't say you haven't been there. We've all been there. Of course, the two pieces of tofu that I get in my miso, playing hard to get. Um, guys, don't pretend like you haven't been there. Come on. You know what I'm talking about. I haven't been to this plaza. Guys, when, one of my very first jobs... Oh, what? Here's some Lupe trivia. One of my very first jobs was at actually Old Navy. I'm going to show you guys. Let's get close in person now. I don't know if you guys can see. Old Navy. Um, and we used to... So I worked at the one in, in Rhode Island... And we would have to, when they were, when they were shorting people, we would have to come help them out. This was a very busy old Navy. I think it's like the only Navy in this whole area. Um, but we used to have to come here all the time and help them out. Um, and you would actually, you, you could actually transfer. And for some reason, a lot of people like transferring to the old Navy in Massachusetts because... They actually paid more. I was like, "What? We're getting, we're getting gypped over here, dude. What?" But it was a great, it was a great experience. I'm telling you, everybody in this world needs to work in retail and hospitality. These two jobs, working in retail and working at restaurants and hospitalities uh, field has absolutely given me such a broad view on society has taught me how to oh sab, more than anything else in this world that's why i wish that it was almost mandatory to work you know how like uh, in certain countries you have to like do the military for the first two years after high school or something they we should do that here in america um 
with the people that are like real extra. We need to teach them from a young age uh, humility, customer service, because what happens is when you experience something from someone else's point of view uh, or in someone else's shoes, you humble down, baby. And you go, oh my God, I had to go through that. So now if you guys ever, <clears throat> I don't know if we'll ever see this like in a, in a, in a vlog or anything, but like even going shopping like at Target or even like to get a, a new pair of clothes or, or something, I always put everything back. I always fold everything. And when you're young, you're a little punk, right? You're like, ah, toss it. But man, nothing humbles you more than working on re in retail around freaking the holidays. We used to have this huge table at Old Navy that would have like just 300 shirts. And I swear to everything that is holy in this world, that table would look like a Midwestern tornado just ripped through it. And I was like, oh my God, dude. Like, how is that even possible? No es posible. It's not possible, but it was. And I remember just looking at it going, man, this is going to take like two hours. And then obviously the bosses are like, hey, guys, uh, you got 20 minutes before we close to do that. You're like, oh, my God. Ah! America. Um, so I think I think it's important. So if you have any kiddos out there. Um, you know, and, and it is something that you can make a career out of, obviously, if you get into like management, things like that. Same with, um, hospitality, you know, and actually I know a lot of, uh, bartenders and waiters that, um, uh, servers that make really good money. So I'm not saying that it's just a beginning job, but I think that everybody in the beginning of their adolescence but well, not in the beginning, I guess at the end of their adolescence when they're becoming, excuse me, when they're becoming adults. Should work one year in retail, full year. And I'm talking about probably a year and a half. I want you to work the holidays, a full year, and then holidays again. And then you can move on to working at a restaurant. Uh, I'm telling you, well, well the, uh, this country will absolutely just soar through the roof because we will all look at each other with warmth and love and understanding and perspective and i think that that's what we need right now so we'll leave it on that note guys i'm gonna enjoy my hawaiian sun by the way i never saw this in hawaii is this even from hawaii yeah hawaiian sun products honolulu hmm. yeah i never saw this at like any of the gas stations and stuff all right And part of my trip too, guys, which I was trying to not do like fast food and stuff in Hawaii. I was trying to stick to local restaurants, which we did. But I do want to go back and I want to eat some of the very unique Hawaiian uh, dishes that some of the uh, fast food places like the Hawaiian burgers and things like that at McDonald's uh, and kind of those unique things, kind of the kind of touristy things because we were trying to stay off the beaten path most of the trip. Uh, but this time around, the next trip that I ever take to Hawaii, we're going to do the touristy stuff and we're going to have some fun. We're going to put on a Hawaiian shirt, baby. We're going to have some fun. All right, guys, I'll leave you on that. Pokemoto, if you're in Massachusetts or if you're in that one little area outside of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, check them out. I suggest the Hawaiian. My next one is probably uh, sesame ginger chicken. That sounds bomb. But I, I, the, the sweet and spicy shrimp is on my hit list. And we'll probably get that as a burrito too. Let's be honest. Look, you're not getting a burrito, uh, a poke bowl. You get another burrito, huh? Yeah, you're right. Oh, and also they have two sizes. You get two scoops of um, of the ahi tuna, whatever your protein is, or for like two bucks more, I think you can get like an extra scoop. So you can get three scoops of meat if you want. That burrito could have been bigger. And I totally forgot in my head when I was looking at the menu, you can add avocado, obviously upcharge, chipotle. Um, you can add that. So like if I would have got three scoops of protein plus the avocado, this burrito would have been just absolutely just flowing over. Just absolutely just.
perfect. Let's just call it what it is. It would have been perfect. All right, guys. I love you so much. We will do more mukbang collabs with other channels. I I want to do a one with every channel. Be kind of fun. I'll I'll try to reach out myself too. Uh, Songbird was a lot of fun. Crystal. Um, I know that whenever we are in, uh, I believe she's from Memphis. Uh, we're gonna do. Oh my god, I got washed out there. There we go. Can't take away this beautiful face. Um, when we are uh, ever in Memphis, Tennessee, we're going to try to link up with her and her husband and do a mukbang live like right next to each other. Um, so that'll be really, really fun. Um, and I want to do that with a lot of channels. Um, I would love to meet different, uh, and I know the proper way of saying it is mukbang, uh, but I like to say mukbang. It just sounds more fun for me. Um, I want to do, a, a, you know, collabs with other eating shows, I guess. Maybe we'll call them that. Uh, review shows um, So keep that all in mind guys once we start the traveling uh, We're getting close 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 every day turns into a week every week turns into a month every month gets us closer to 2022 Be bitty bop Like comment subscribe be well eat well Go get a freaking pokemoto burrito if you can and take care of each other